Vi se. Ah, det. Jag hör ju en Did you ever find a human bone bone? No, never. And look here at the damage. Mhm. Easy Tigers, I hope everyone is fine and dandy. Welcome back as always. First of all, big up the Patreons and the guys on PayPal. It's thanks to you guys. We're here still collecting nugs and examining this narrative and pulling it apart like a, like I don't know what, filling the gap. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at a place called or Villa Biggie. And it's also known as Villa Biggie Hospital. And it was a major naval hospital located in the small town of Calcara on the island of Malta. It was built on the site of the garden of Palazzo Bici that was periodically known as Hotel Salvatore. RNH Biggie served the Eastern Mediterranean in the 19th and 20th centuries and, in conjunction with the RN Hospital of Antarfa, contributed to the nursing and medical care of casualties whenever hostilities occurred in the Mediterranean. The building is known as Villa Biggie and it houses a restoration unit. In 1967, during the second rundown of the British services and their employees in Malta, Biggie Hospital was on the brink of closing down. On the 17th of September 1970, Biggie closed down indefinitely. In 1977, parts of the building were occupied by the former Senglia Trade School, while other sections accommodated a secondary school. Since 2010, the site has housed the head office of Heritage Malta, the National Agency for Museums, Conservation Practice and Culture Heritage. So there's a lot of stuff going on under this hospital. That's why I wanted to go and have a look to see if we can have a little look inside. Now, an interesting little fact about this. In 1829, four Egyptian limestone steles that predate the Phoenician period in Malta were found on the site by a British archaeologist. Phoenician remains bearing inscriptions were also found and now displayed at the British Museum. Thieving gits. <laughs> so like I just described to you there, it is recently been used as a hospital. It's currently being used as a head office to do with Heritage Malta and um, like the all the museums, the head of the museums. So I wondered what was going on underneath it. Now it was originally called Salvatore Hill. Now I believe that was a complex that got sh smashed up, chopped down, and there's just two or three levels left of the complex and that's what they built the hospital one. Because if you look around the actual complex, there's some mad signs of strange anomalies to do with building construction. But anyway, let's have a look on Google Earth and see what is going on because here we go. So I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. So it's this bit here. Been here a couple of times, but I've never actually been here with Pierre. And Pierre showed me some mad stuff in here. And it only backed up my theory. Inside, you can see that it was completely cast. Even here, you can see that there, there's a, like a, it looks like a brow of a hill. But that's the complex that's been buried in it. Hospital is directly over it. And you can see, obviously, it's bush everywhere, as always. So we actually enter on these parts here you can see that are under the arrows. We enter through these buildings and we go underneath, we end up about here. There's so many signs of GOP, so many signs of cast stone. Anyway, first before we get in there, we need to big up Pierre because brother, thanks to you mate for taking me to these places. I appreciate you mate. And obviously he's the one that's going to be giving us a little tour of this place as well. This is Pierre, big man. Big up yourself mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this thing, it's all here. Well, floor, well, tiles. Cool. There we go. But just to let you guys know, I will be pausing the video every time I see something, just to let you guys know and point it out. So the first thing I'm going to point out here is the coquina. And it's a calcium based material that seems to be smeared over everything, especially in the United Kingdom. Seems to be some decorative material everywhere. Even the windows look out there. Yeah. Okay. And this is the second store, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe there was a skylight or something. Mm -hmm. I think these were like cookers, huh? Yeah. Now I'm seeing them. You put the wood there, inside. Mm -hmm. And then you will cook up here. Yeah, yeah. You see? 
So this seems to be an ancient cooking um, apparatus. You can tell by the limestone in the background. The only difference is they've added blocks on the front to use as some sort of basin to put the wood to heat up the fire with. But you can see that the flue is done in the stone. You can also see how dodgy that stone is as they've cast them last little bits externally on the wall. And you see, you see? And this would be the vents. That is, oh, yeah. Like a chimney, yes, yes, yes. Uh, one, two, three. And here are they put the fire, yeah. and there's the opening for the flame. Huh. So here is the first sign that this complex goes in under the hospital in the GOP. And this is not that old render because it's actually over the block work. So when you see render over blocks, that render can only be as old as the block work it's going over. So I don't think that render's old. Not like this stuff I found here on Manuel Island. Incredible. Yeah, there's this staircase here. Those old staircases are. Oh, I love these. How nice, yeah. Yeah, look, if you stand here, you can see like the. Uh huh, it's just been filled in. Yeah. Ah, beautiful. Oh, Oh, yeah. So this is our first clue of a geopolymer construct when you have building services incorporated into the stone. So this is uh, the most part, the most beautiful part. Oh, now you can feel it. I think here was a cistern. Also you can see where the stone has been cast directly on top of each other. And on the left hand side of that block you can see where they use some filler to cover up the joints before they render it, which is abundant everywhere, same as United Kingdom. But uh, sometimes they they uh, go into site here, and this ended like a small a big garage because this I will show you where you can give to eat to animals. Mm -hmm. uh, look at the these these are found in systems even in yes. the nights how you find it, these. Even uh, the stone has been cut. So if you can see up here, you can see the arch and you can see that there is stone beams going across that hold in the slabs for the floor. And this looks like to me some sort of iron sheeting that's been left on the wall. Now don't forget I found an abundant amount of iron sheeting everywhere, even in England I found this stuff in multiple sites. So this is a clue that they are casting this stone inside iron sheeting or using iron to hold up large amounts of artificial stone while it sets. Acting like a lintel, shall we say. Well, uh -huh. well it's a very big, yeah? Yeah. All right, let me get my torch out here. Yeah. This is uh, yeah. very... I can't see my back. All right. Oh. <laughs> a magic one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And Paul, I think you know why, what this is for. Yes, that'd be for water. The water will go with the wall, yep. go in here, and then it will go that way. There. Yeah. And there, there is other for the animals to eat. Oh, wow. Wow. This is um. Now this feature blew my mind because like I said, you've got the services incorporated into the stone. And even here you can see where water seeps through the stone in two places. And I don't think it's by any off chance because there's actually a channel directly below that to collect the water and then take it away to be stored or used. Yeah. So the thing is it worked differently, just we just didn't or you just didn't know we were looking. Yeah. But I'm sure when I come here last time yeah, yeah, there was um Yeah, yeah, definitely. What's this? I was about to say, there's molds, there's molds in this is a balabostra, it's those balconies, you find one in here. Ah, I came here, I know it's not. What would we call that? 
here is a close up and you can see that the water will come down from up here which is above where that fresh water is coming through and you can see here where it travels down and meets with the channel that's flowing down at an angle to go to where it needs to be stored or it needs to be used and you can see this running around the wall and this is an abundant amount everywhere all over Malta I found this in England as well with so many sites and even in Egypt so there's a lot of similarities with these old old worlds see this is where the, the, the fresh water is coming from this point up here and then it clicks down the channel hey, and goes off. <laughs> this is Maltese, uh, these beans. Normally Maltese, we, we, they used to build. They make this mm -hmm. like a beam of yeah. wood. Then they put the stone, it's called chorok. Yeah. And it's like the roof. This is the bunch with me there, which I will go later. Or oh, here or oh, there. This I think it's a system here, uh, first of all, because if you see how they are, yes, the yes. roof is amazing. And uh, places like there, so here's the most interesting. Places like here, uh, you see the opening in the roof. Uh, like the well opening, you see. Mm -hmm. And the debris from up there fell here. Uh, Here is another bit of fresh water coming through the wall, collected at the channel at the bottom. I'm not sure if there's a sign up there. Are you saying 10? More up, go more up with the door. Down, 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 if you see Arab, here there is 1789 yes. number. And here are two ships. Mm -hmm. This is the whole ship, or the whole ship. Wow. And it looks very old, no? Oh, these little fellows. <laughs> these are mosquitoes, eh? Are they? Oh. Uh, they're big ones. Where? Oh no, Paul, <laughs> you're gonna be. Oh no. Oh. Oh, look at that old light. Wow. Wow. Well, old. You're crazy, eh? What's in this hole? I could spend all day in here. Oh, yeah. Just picking up all the stuff, having a look. Okay, so hopefully I will find you the bomb. Do you want to see what's in there? Yeah, it might be. That's how we'll be there, down in that hole. Oh, on we'll the other side. Oh, we're going in there. Oh, oh, these okay. are for the animals as well. Mm -hmm. This uh, we are. Oh, that looks old. There was something here as well, uh, you see? Yeah. Like a drawing that was covered with blue. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> mosquitoes are massive. Uh, Those mosquitoes. Uh, did you see them above you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. The thing is, they don't really get me, but they get cool. <laughs> We've had to have the window shut for two weeks, mm. so uh, I don't get bitten. And my theory is, Paul, that one of the bones ended up here when they were cleaning. Mm -hmm. They put stuff from up there, mm -hmm. and they ended, but it's in the other room. Do you know, the, go the government could make money out of this. Oh. Like and, a, and, uh, I don't know if you think like me, Paul, this was a, a system at the, at the time, for sure. Definitely. And then, uh, maybe the house, when they did the house, they made start doors. digging, yeah. and then there's the system, they make it like a... Yeah, because this would have been closed. Mm -hmm. Only accessible from up here, I guess. Mm. Yes. And then, obviously, when they finished using it as a system, they made these, these holes. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I try not to, eh? This is what? This. These are a pot. We call them mayella. They're the old sinks. It's a uh, uh, very old sink, yes. Yeah, that in England they go in the hospitals and places like Some, that. Some uh, here, if you if you think, if you go up here just above, mm. it's a big hospital. It's from yeah. English, our English hospital. Yeah, this is probably from there then. Yeah. yeah. 
Ah, so that's the room you're trying to look for, Ed. Because there's like water chase marks in there. Like, wait for water. Take care of the rocks, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this is Zara, that's why I thought it was a well or something to put stuff in here, no? Here you can see where the stone has been cast directly on top of each other. And also you can see here squid marks, which happens when you push the mixture inside the foaming, inside the frame, on top of each other before they set. Mm, what's under here, Arthur? This is just rubbish. Oh. And a little water. Now this is where the trip started to get a little bit funky because we couldn't help notice that there was obviously water on the floor and we're looking around just looking at all like the, the stones and stuff and then Pierre out of the corner of his eye pulls out a blinking with my bare hands I'm touching walls of people you see um, okay. a human bone did you ever find a human bone bone? no mm -hmm. never and no. look here at the damage mm -hmm. What, do you reckon infection? Hmm. Infection, no, I throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's part of the bone. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Look, the 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 female, the mm -hmm, shape. Mm -hmm. Amazing, oh. Unbelievable. Do you ever touch a human bone? No. <laughs> oh, it's weird, eh? Yeah, no, I never will. Don't you want to touch it? No, I've got no desire to oh, touch, touch it. it. Hey, yeah. So he will come at your sleep. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad I thanked that. <laughs> because even I know this is a bone because of this, sir. Mm -hmm. Because when I found it, it was like this. Oh, I found the pottery, pottery down oh, now, yeah. ball. And then I was like this. Oh, fuck, it's a bone. <laughs> Let's take a picture with this stuff, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's this one for? Yeah, it's just a rope. Yeah. yeah. Snake can't it's really nice. No, that's to put the... put the light to the wall. Yeah, yeah. You don't have the big light. Put it to the wall. Uh-huh. We'll bounce on us. Ah, professional, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, boy, I'll take your photo. Ah, no. <laughs> it's not every day, you can no. give me the gun. So I'll put the light like this. Mm. Yeah. If you turn your phone the other way, it'd be a, a good What? If you turn your phone this way, mm -hmm. so it's long ways. Yeah, right. yeah, it's good, it comes out better on the, on the screen. No. Mm. Oh camera. gosh, that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> I'm normally very bad in pictures. No. This is yours? Uh, thank you. If you want to take the bone, you can take it. No, 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 no. I am blackmailed by my girlfriend that if I try I'll to. I'll leave it here. <laughs> I'll put it back there, Pierre. Mm -hmm. But I think it will be interesting in your videos. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Even that I tell you about finding human bones. So, where do we. This is the, where we were before. Okay. Most yeah. probably. Yeah, there we were before. This is part of the. I don't, I don't know where we are. I think we are on the other side. Indeed, on the here. Oh. What a fault there is. Oh, look, there's a little gap. Man, on the way. Yeah. And there are the opening of the well around there. Mm -hmm. Because these are all the blocks that I did long time ago. So it's worse. Because what I think is when they were removing the burying things from above, they were throwing down some of the bone. Mm -hmm. And that bone was there, that's what. Uh, I didn't look at the other one. Yeah. Wow. Maybe we have something in there too. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little episode today. And. Um, don't forget to give Pierre a subscribe because he's a lovely guy and he's out collecting serious nugs.
So that was an exploration in a piece of a complex that's directly under Malta Heritage. And it's funny that there was a human bone under there as well, hey? Plus you had water channels collecting fresh water coming from the wall. Interesting stuff, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And if you want to support the work, I'll be more than appreciative. One love, guys. Ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs>